In today's video, I'm going to review the Gaziano and Girling Burnham Chelsea Boot in Black Calfskin. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Chelsea boots are exceptional choices for those who want a more casual shoe that are insanely comfortable and perfect for wearing with jeans. Chelsea boots get their name from the hip kids in the Chelsea neighborhood of London who popularized them in the 1960s and are often closely associated with the Beatles who wore them. For those who ride horses, they're also known as paddock boots because they're easy to slip in and out of because of the elastic sides. The most defining characteristic of a Chelsea boot is the hole cut construction and the elastic side panels, which combine to create a pair of shoes that are easy to put on and take off and are exceptionally comfortable. For this reason, Chelsea boots are favorites among those who travel and walk a lot. The Gaziano and Girling Burnham Chelsea boot, made on the DG70 Lass, is, as one would expect from the firm, an absolutely beautiful example and is quite unique in that it is cut from a single pattern piece and doesn't have the traditional side seam. Now, cutting a Chelsea boot from a single piece of leather requires additional work in order to block this shape into it, and it's just another hallmark of the level of craftsmanship that comes out of Gaziano and Girling. The Burnham is available stock in vintage oak on the TG73 last, which is Gaziano and Girling's uh, classic square toe, and this black one made on the DG70, which features their soft, smart, round toe. However, as with all of Gaziano and Girling's shoes, they can be completely customized through their extensive made-to-order program. First, let's talk about Gaziano and Girling. For those who don't know who the shoemaking firm is, they have risen as the wonder boy of the English shoemaking industry. When Tony Gaziano and Dean Gerling founded the company in 2006, they were the first new shoemaking factory to be opened in Northampton in over 100 years. Everyone thought they were crazy, and they probably were, but that's what allowed them to innovate and become so successful. Tony and Dean worked for a variety of bespoke shoemakers, designers, and Northampton manufacturers before joining together to launch their own line. Their aim was to update the otherwise classic English aesthetic and to bring an unprecedented level of handwork to their Goodyear welted factory made dress shoes. The whole key was to elevate the level of finishing of a factory made pair of shoes, thereby narrowing the gap between bespoke and ready to wear. Tony, with his experience in last making, brought design brilliance to the firm, while Dean, as a bespoke shoemaker, brought a technical knowledge of how to elevate the craftsmanship and finish to bespoke standards. Few other shoemakers on the firm try to incorporate so many elements of bespoke craftsmanship and finishing into their ready-to-wear factory-made offering. Gaziano and Girling is easily making some of the finest ready-to-wear shoes available in the world today. The Burnham Chelsea boot in the DG70 last is a beautiful boot. The soft round toe of the DG70 is elegant yet modern at the same time, while the simple hole cut construction without any medallion makes this a beautiful sleek shoe. What makes this boot special though is the one piece construction without any side seams, which is technically very expensive and difficult to achieve. Most ready-to-wear Chelsea boots have one to two side seams, which makes the upper easier to cut into shape. The one-piece construction requires that the uppers be soaked in water and then blocked for several days in order to create this beautiful shape right here from an otherwise flat piece of leather. The result, as you can see though, is worth the extra effort. Tony Gaziano's shoe design brilliance is instantly recognizable in this shoe. Even though the design of the Chelsea boot is exceptionally simple, the sleek shape of the DG70 last still makes it stand out as a beautiful and elegant shoe. Every aspect of design, proportion, lines, shape have been perfectly balanced. Combined with the construction and quality of materials, which we'll talk about later in greater detail, you can't help but desire these shoes. What I love about a Chelsea boot is how comfortable they are. They are exceptional shoes for walking because the hole cut construction and elastic sides really helps this shoe mold to your foot. Furthermore, the high back on the boot 
helps prevent any type of irritation to your heels. I have a friend in Paris who walks extensively in the city, and he always wears his Chelsea boots in Paris because of how comfortable they are. One of the other things that I absolutely love about a Chelsea boot is the versatility. These are completely at home on the weekend with a pair of denim jeans, but could also be worn with the proper polish after six o'clock to a formal event. And for this reason, Chelsea boots have a dedicated and very loyal following. As with all Gaziano and Girling shoes, no effort is spared in the construction and finishing of these shoes. The factory's ability to consistently produce outstanding quality and construction is the work of Dean Girling. It is his insight to bespoke construction that combined with Tony's design aesthetic that helps the firm successfully close the gap between ready to wear and bespoke shoes. Now, of course, a ready-to-wear pair of shoes from Gaziano and Girling is not bespoke, but other than the completely bespoke customized last, the hand welting, and the hand sewing of the outsole, a lot of those bespoke elements can be found in this shoe. The upper is cut from a single piece of leather. I mean, of course, it's got the back seam, but it doesn't have any of the side seams that you would otherwise find on many more common ready-to-wear Chelsea boots. All of Gaziano and Girling's uppers are hand-clicked from the same quality of calfskin that they use in their bespoke shoes. And the hand-clicking means that the pattern pieces are cut out by hand. Now, that is important because it allows the clicker to position the pattern pieces on only the best areas of leather before it is cut, as opposed to being stamped out of the leather. These boots also feature a high-quality double-sided elastic, which adds for durability. Uh, the upper is completely single needle stitched with a very high stitch density. The outsole is stitched with a very high stitch density of eight stitches per inch, which again just produces a level of finishing to the shoe that you don't see with many other factory made ready to wear shoes. Uh, the welt is fudged, which is this uh, indentation you see along the edge, which again is one of those hallmarks of a really well made shoe that just help elevate its finish and aesthetic. And of course, as with all of Gaziano and Girling's shoes, they feature absolutely beautiful last definition, which is this shape you see uh, in and around the shoe that's created as the upper is pulled over the last. A special machine is needed just to be able to do this, and you can see just how much last definition there is by taking a pencil. I mean, just look at this shape, you know, right here between the edge of the shoe and the waist. Now, speaking of the waist, it's the bottoms of a pair of Gaziano and Girlings that really gives them their trademark. The bottoms of these shoes are just as beautifully finished as the uppers, which is one of the hallmarks of a pair of Gaziano and Girlings. There's a few elements here that I really want to point out as being special. First is Gaziano and Girlings trademark fiddlebacked waist. Now, not only do the shoes have a tight or narrow waist, which you find in a lot of the higher end ready to wear shoes, but it also has a fiddle back, which is this shape that is given uh, actually through the waist itself. Now that combined with the way that they ink the bottom of the shoes just creates a beautiful shape right here at the waist that only you know about, but makes these shoes special. The other element that I absolutely love is the fact that the outsoles are sewn to the welt using something called invisible channel stitching. What that means is that this stitching that is used to attach the outsole to the welt is concealed on the bottom of the shoe as opposed to being open like on a lesser quality pair of shoes. Now this is very difficult to do because the outsole has to be sliced open, peeled back, and then the outsole stitched to the welt before that is pressed back down uh, and smoothed out. Now the result is just an absolutely beautiful finished outsole uh, that is just one of those characteristics of a Gaziano and Girling that I love. The other thing that is important to note is of course the outsoles and the heels are made with oak bark tanned uh, leather that is uh, actually tanned in England uh, that is known for its water resistance and durability. So these outsoles are gonna last three to four times longer than some type of fast tanned Italian leather outsole. Now the beauty of this shoe continues along to the back with the way that the heel is finished. You can see how neatly this heel sits on the bottom of the shoe. It is cut tight against the base of the shoe itself, and it has a slight pitch. It is beautifully waxed and polished to a nice high shine. 
And then the bottom features some uh, brass nail ornamentation that again just helps finish this as being absolutely beautiful. All of these elements of materials, of design, of craftsmanship are what combine together to really put Gaziano and Gerling in the pantheon of just a handful of shoemakers doing work at this level. These Burnham Chelsea boots are available stock in vintage oak on the TG73, which is Gaziano's classic square toe, and this black one made on the DG70, which is their smart round toe. However, as with all of Gaziano and Gerling's shoes, they can be completely customized through their made-to-order program, where you can choose from any of their seven shapes, a hundred different leather choices, any custom patina, and add custom medallions on the front of the shoes. Made-to-order shoes can be commissioned for an extra 250 pounds and take about 12 weeks to make. The Gaziano and Gerling Burnhams are available stock from a UK size 5 to a UK size 13 in an E width. UK sizes are a half size smaller than the equivalent US shoe size. So if you are a nine and a half in an American shoe, such as a pair of Allen Edmonds, you'd want to start with a UK nine in a pair of Gaziano and Girlings. The same is true for widths. A UK E width is equivalent to a standard US D width. However, the shoes can be ordered in a narrow D width to a wide F with no extra charge. Priced at 1,300 pounds without VAT, or about $1,700, these shoes are without question an investment. As all of you who watch this channel closely know, this is our first boot that we have uh, included as a part of our shoe review series, and there's no better place than the Chelsea boot from Gaziano and Girling. The reason is because of the versatility of this boot and its comfort. Not only can this shoe be worn uh, during the week with a suit or on the weekend with denim, but it's an exceptionally comfortable shoe. The more you wear it, the more that it molds to your foot and the more comfortable it becomes. Whenever I look at this boot with the soft round toe, the beautiful craftsmanship, the high stitch density, the beautiful laugh shape, you know, the way that these bottoms are made, I mean, it's a shoe that is easy to fall in love with. And I suspect that after trying one's first pair of Chelsea boots, they could easily become one of your favorites. If you haven't seen our Gaziano and Girling factory tour, click the link in the upper right hand corner to watch it. It really helps you appreciate Tony and Dean's passion and the craftsmanship that goes into one of their ready to wear, factory made Goodyear welted shoes. I'm Kirby Allison and I love to help the well dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship and tradition. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm wearing one of my bespoke Himrajani or MyTailor.com suits. It is a single breasted suit, two button, made from a dark gray five star fabric from Drapers. It has a beautiful hand and a heavy weight to it that really makes this suit drape beautifully. I'm pairing it with, of course, a white bespoke Charvet shirt and one of our new Kirby Allison Ancient Matter Sovereign Grade ties. I have a white pocket square from Simonok Godard. I'm wearing a pair of burgundy sovereign grade dress socks and a pair of bespoke George Cleverly Baron de Reedy casuals and black pigskin. 